Alright, so in this video, I'm going to do a couple of examples to kind of um, get more familiar with this velocity field because up to now we've just talked about a velocity field and what it is. Now let's do some examples. Uh, the first one, uh, we'll call it one, or example one. We have a velocity field given. Okay? A velocity field is x squared plus y squared in the i direction, All right? Minus 2xy in the j direction, plus xyz e to the negative t in the k direction. And this can be in whatever feet per second. That, that's fine. We drop the little particle onto some fluid that was flowing and this was the resulting velocity field. Okay? Now, there's a couple things to notice. At first, you see the time variable t. So we know this is an unsteady flow because at every different time, the velocity changes in respect to time. And it's also a three-dimensional flow, meaning it's flowing in the x, y, and z directions. So for the first example, let's just write down the components. That's what the question is asking. It's asking, uh, what, are the, what are the x, y, and z components of this velocity field? Now remember, there, were, there was a couple books that used the u, v, w notation, and then there's other books that use the vx, vy, and vz notation. I, I personally like the vx, vy, vz notation, so I'll use that. So to find our x component, it's, it's just the, the i term, right? vx is equal to u, right, in other books, and uh, that component is x squared plus y squared. That's it. The y component, which is also v, is equal to negative 2xy, okay? And the vz is equal to, I think, uvw, and that's equal to the, the k term the k term, x, y, z, e to the negative t. And you notice that only the z component has the time variable t. There may be velocity fields where every single component has a time variable t. So just look out for that. Okay? Our second example, we'll say example 2. I'll do it in a different color. Purple. A velocity field is given by uh, xi minus yj. Okay? Now, a couple things to notice here. V the velocity field is actually a steady flow because it doesn't depend on time. We don't see any time variable t. And notice that it's also a two dimensional flow, which is called a planar flow because it's just in one plane, right? It's just y x. It's just flowing. It's just flowing like that. Okay. Uh, and same thing here. Write down the x, y, and z components of this velocity field. So the x component would be the i term. The y component would be the j term. And the z component, well, there is no z component. Uh, there's no k term. Right? It's, it's, it's just flat. It's on this paper. It's a planar flow. It's just two-dimensional flow. So that's zero. Okay? Now, our next example... Well, we can do that in a different color, too. I really like these Sharpies. I actually got these for on sale for, like, $2 a pack of 10 color Sharpies. Real nice. Staples. Hmm. Example three. Okay? Here, the velocity field, which is dependent on x, oops, the velocity field, that depends on x, y, z, and t, so we're, we're in an um, unsteady flow because there is a time variable t, and that's given to us as, let's see, 5x y squared plus t i plus t 
2z plus 8j plus 18k. I think that's in meters per second, okay? And the question is asking, uh, find the velocity at 9, negative 2, 1, 4, and the magnitude of the velocity field, okay? Uh, so the very first thing, let's identify our x, y, z, and t. This would be our x, this would be our y, this would be our z, and this would be our t, t time. Everything's in meters, and the time is in seconds. So let's, let's just write that down. x is equal to 9, y is equal to negative 2, z is equal to 1, and the time is equal to 4. Okay? Now, um, this is actually a really simple problem. We just literally plug all these in, and that gives us our velocity field. So our velocity at 9, negative 2, 1, and 4 is equal to uh, 5 times 9 uh, times negative 2 squared plus 4 in the i plus, let's see, 2 times 1 plus 8 in the j and plus 18k, okay? And you do the math, that comes out to be um, 184i plus 10j plus 18k, okay? That's our velocity field at the position 9, negative 2, 1, and at time equals 4, okay? Now, we need to find the magnitude. So the magnitude, you should know how to find magnitude from statics and dynamics. You've, you've had those courses already. So you know that the magnitude is just uh, the square of each one of these terms, the x, y, and z term, and then all of that added and square rooted. So it would be 184 squared plus 10 squared plus 18 squared, and all of that square rooted. And you punch that into a calculator, I get um, about 185.1 meters per second. And remember, this is not a vector. It's just the speed. It's the magnitude, right? The velocity would be the direction and the speed, and the magnitude is just the speed. So we found our magnitude, and we found our velocity field.